like I said, don't expect a lot of you to look at our clothes and left on this July. I'm literally running to oh, the Oh, I am going to the back of the board and put it in I saw the spot that I lived. I'm literally running. There's my aircraft over there. I don't know if you can see. Let me just zoom in. It's a lot of time to be busy zooming in. There is my aircraft there. Today I am flying on Mangles Boeing 737-800. So today I am flying on Mangles Boeing 737-800 New generation, I don't know why I'm saying like 77 because that's the only aircraft that Mango actually operates It's the first video of the battle of the South African low-cost carriers and today it's Mango If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing to my channel If you're into aviation stuff and you've seen my other videos and you are into this vibe Consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the notification bell and if you enjoy it a lot, share with whoever you can. Let me tell you a few points about Mango. Low-cost carriers in South Africa are a different ballgame to low-cost carriers overseas. Low-cost carriers overseas don't use GDS, like global distribution systems. They just, you go online, you book a ticket and that's it. And it's no frills at all. You pay for the ticket and everything else you add on. So the South African low-cost carriers I'll be discovering throughout the course of the year what actually makes them different from each other. I'll review them each and then I'll do a final video of comparing them. So with Mango, let me tell you what you get when you purchase a ticket. The ticket I bought today is a one-way from Durban to Johannesburg and it cost me 399 Rand. I don't know what the equivalent is to dollars. Feel free to take 399 South African Rand and convert it to see how much it is if you're considering flying between Durban and Johannesburg if you're on a holiday. So what do you get from that fare? Number one, you don't get to choose your seat beforehand and you can check in 24 hours before the flight time. So 24 hours before, quickly go in online and you can check in and you can pick your seat. It's not worth paying for the extra seat change. One thing though, for the lowest fare you don't get if you miss your flight, you don't get to change the flight. Your, your money is gone. You pay and it's gone. It is gone. But with Mango, you get to check in a, you get to check in a bag. And that bag has to the maximum weight of the bag is 20 kilograms. Honestly, that's it. That's it. You get a check in bag for the lowest fare ticket. You can't change anything. You book it, you book it once you put your seat. You can maybe check it change it when you're checking in at the counter before your flight. If you'd like to book a mango ticket, simply go to www.flymango.com and book a ticket and just like that, you can pay online and you get your ticket right there and then. Well, that's it. Let me show you guys to the aircraft and get going. They started boarding, started boarding like 5-10 minutes ago. <laughs> I don't even know my way to the gate, so right now <laughs> I'm almost fucked. But yeah. Yeah, bad gate, eight twelve, but it's Yeah, yeah, eight twelve now. Okay. Sure. The weather outside is pretty gloomy, but it's so freaking hot. Here's our aircraft for the day. Alpha. Okay, my right. Talk to my boy. 
The window seat right next to the engine. Well, that, as you saw, my seat was 12F. It's a window seat right next to the engine. First impressions. Oh man. Oh man. Like, I'm not gonna complain. I mean, the ticket is like 400 bucks, so can't really expect much, but hey. We're flying, we're getting from point A to point B. That's actually the point of a low cost carrier. So, yeah, I'm in my seat. I'll show you guys the leg room just now, and uh, hopefully, we'll be pushing back soon and off to Joburg. To be honest, I cannot wait to get out of here because it's just hot. It's just really hot. Maybe the temperature in the cabin will change once we're in the air, but yeah. First impression of mango. It does its job, but wow, it's the pits. Low cost carriers are the pits. They are the pits. Leg room, not so bad. For a flight to Durban, this is reasonable. I mean, for a flight from Durban to Joburg, this is reasonable. It's not going to take more than 45 minutes. That's my bag you're seeing over there. I stored it under there because I didn't want to be competing. I mean, look at the overheads from the front to the back. They're all packed. So I wasn't going to be competing, my laptop is in there, so I just thought, let me throw it here. Got it in there, and that's a little. I'll show you guys the menu once we're in the air. Being a low-cost carrier as well, don't expect any recline in the seats. So, after I land, because the camera's on one bar now, I'll switch to recording with my phone, but after I land, I'll give you my full impressions of the flight and stuff, but do not expect to recline at all. I mean, you're paying 400 rand for a flight, what do you expect?
whilst I'm bombing into the clouds and getting further up in the sky, let me just share a few things with you. Before you book a ticket, always consider why are you flying? Are you going on a holiday or what's happening? Really, a low-cost carrier, if you're flying for about 45 minutes, it's not so bad. But if you're going to be flying longer, I'd suggest looking for something with more leg room and that maybe has a meal service on board. If you're flying for, say, an hour and a half or two hours or more, try flying a carrier that might have a bit more leg room not a low cost carrier. Overall, the pricing of the food on board wasn't so bad. So if you're going to be flying for a long for a long time on Mango, because they fly to Zanzibar for example, just maybe budget 100 rand to 200 rand for some snacks and some drinks and some water, etc. There's no seat back entertainment, so make sure you carry your own entertainment. And I mean, I tried to get some work done, but the flight was really short, so before I knew it, it was time to land. 15 minutes to landing. Overall, overall, this was not really a scenic flight, so I couldn't, really, I couldn't be pointing out at monuments or anything and saying, here's this, here's that. But I mean, like I said earlier, for 45 minutes flying from, Do from Durban to Johannesburg, the flight was pretty cool. Couldn't get any work done. The space in between me and the seat in front of me wasn't that big, so I couldn't really like do much on the laptop and the tray table. It's not that big of a tray table, so you can't really fit a laptop. My laptop is only 15 inches and it didn't fit comfortably there. But hey, like I said, if you're just flying for a quick hop between Durban and Joburg, consider this instead of a bus as well. And it might save you some money. Booking on the Mango site is easy. They have a lot of different fares. I just went for the cheapest one. And this is all that I got. So the camera died, I told you the battery was low, it didn't survive the entire mango flight but here I am at Oatambo airport now, having come back from Durban. You know what, it's the first video of the battle of the South African low cost carriers and to be honest for 400 rand, mango did not disappoint. You paid to put your bum in a seat and on top of putting your bum in a seat you get to put a bag in the aircraft that's not more than 20 kilograms. So what's there to complain about? Honestly, it was hot when we got into the aircraft, but as we flew, it got cool. Takeoff was smooth, landing was... But, I mean, the whole experience of Mango, the only thing that I really did not like was standing in the line when we had to board. That was honestly annoying, but if you pay more money, you can get priority boarding. I didn't go for that option, I just went for the cheapest ticket. So next up on my list is Fly South Air. I don't know where I'm going to fly, but in a month or two, I will fly Fly South Air and I'll put it up on the channel. If you enjoy this type of videos, if you like this type of information, please do consider subscribing to my channel. It would be really cool if you subscribe, hit the notification bell and share with whoever you think might be interested in such content and occasionally tech stuff. Yes sir, catch you with another video soon. Eagles, bye. Thank you.